Hello, and welcome to Insights with Thomas Caldwell on September 30th, 2021. Tom, can you believe it's the end of September already? Time goes quickly, but that's an age thing. <laughs> well, okay, I'm, I'm not even going to argue that one right now. <laughs> However, I want to talk about geopolitical issues. There's a lot happening in China right now, especially with, uh, for example, Meng Wanzhou, the chief financial officer of Huawei. You have cryptocurrency transactions that are illegal. You've got the two Michaels, you've got Evergrande. There's a lot. Well, there is. I, uh, the good news first, let's start with the good news, is the two Michaels are back in Canada and thank heavens for that. And the Meng lady, she's released to go back. That should have happened years ago as opposed to three years imprisonment for those uh, young men. But at any rate, the world is moving on. China seems to be becoming a little bit more isolationist. Uh, Premier Xi, he was raised during the Red Guard era, the Cultural Revolution. And so he's pulling into China. He's discouraging the, the teaching of English. Uh, banning crypto was going to come sooner or later because that's how people get money out of the country. And, and I think you're going to see more of that. Uh, crypto is a little bit at risk when Asia starts to lock down on it. And I think that can be something that could be negative uh, for cryptocurrencies. As you know, I'm not a big fan of that uh, group at all. But, you know, in the bad news, there's always good news. And that would come to markets if you want to talk about that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's interesting. People read all these sources. Oh, the Fed is doing this. The unemployment numbers are doing that. Politicians are saying this. But the interesting thing for markets is one should go to the source. Let the market tell you what it wants to do. For example, bull markets ignore bad news. Bear markets ignore good news. There's lots of bad news, potentially bad news out there. What's China going to do with Taiwan? Uh, what's going to happen you know, in, in the United States with this factionalizing. All of these things are out there. We all know about them, yet the market is continuing to move on. So when the market is ignoring bad news, climbing this wall of fear, that's a bull market. So that means we're still in a bull market. And it's fueled by lots of cash in the system. It's fueled by low interest rates. But the market mood is still relatively positive. We had a decline a few days ago, 900 points uh, decline. And it recovered that literally within two days. So the market wants to keep moving up. So I think that's the good news. It's ignoring the bad news. So don't get, and, and people looking for trend changes, uh, that's a mugs game. Uh, you know, if you're looking for, if people look for trend changes, their people usually miss the main trend and trying to rationalize their, their non-performance. But go to the source, let the market tell you what it's gonna do. And the market's telling us it wants to do better. Thank you so much, Tom. Thank you. And we've heard it from the market whisperer. And thank you all for watching. Bye for now.